So now I will going to present about what I did during international tourism and culture. Hi, I'm Kunat Kim from Department of International Business. This is first week presentation. During first week, we got a time to introduce about ourselves. I introduced my name, Kun Akim, and my hometown, Gyeongju, which is very historical place, and my major, which is Department of International Business. Also, we shared about our travel experience for the first time. I chose Batangas because this was very memorable for me since it was my first time to travel with my grandparents and parents. For the last, we shared why we enrolled this international tourism and culture class. For me, I chose this class because my dream during senior high school was enrolled in HRM. So I even prepared to enroll HRM when I was in the Philippines, but suddenly pandemic started and I lost my chance to study HRM courses. So while I was studying in Gambang University, I found this class, International Tourism and Culture, and I thought that maybe it was going to be a chance to learn about HRM more, which will make my dreams come true. Next presentation is week three. I did not get a chance to present this during class. But the topic here was three destinations that we have visited. So the destination that I have chosen was United States, Philippines, and Busan. Uh, I chose these three destinations because it was uh, very memorable for me. Even I visited uh, different kind of countries and regions in Korea. Uh, I think this was the best places that I have visited in my life. Next, it is week 7. So this time, uh, we present about tourism products. Uh, I It was very memorable lesson for me since uh, it was a chance to learn about various kinds of products, uh, tourism products. I didn't know that there are these kinds of tourism products because uh, for me, the tourism was just a visited another place and learn about their culture. So these are the three tourism products that I if I have experienced, ecotourism, spiritual tourism, and site-based tourism. Uh, ecotourism, I chose the, I went to a enchanted farm in the Philippines. I, it was the time to go to a farm and we got a chance to harvest some fruits and so how to make some silk. So I think this is ecotourism. And next is spiritual system. Uh, I tried this during retreat. We went to eight different places of churches and pray for God and uh, think about who I am and who I want to be. So I think this is a spiritual system tourism product and last was site-based tourism it was my first time to do a package tour in united states new york city uh, we tried a tour a package for the first time because all of our family members visited new york city for the first time so we think we thought that we really need to get some help from our tour guide. So this is the end of week seven presentation. Next, it is week 10 and 11. I combined week 10 and 11 because the topic was similar. So the week 10 and 11, the topic was travel motivation. Uh, I was thinking, the motivation while I travel and I chose this travel. I went to Kijang in Busan with my junior high school friend. Uh, I was not in the Korea during senior high school so I did not have enough time with my junior high school friends so we planned to go to Kijang in Busan for 
three days and two nights. Uh, the motivation of this travel was to share our memories and make some new memories with my junior high school friends. And it is still memorable for me because we become more close and happy after this travel. So this is the end of week 10 and 11. And next, I will going to share some of my presentation uh, with my teammate. So our first group presentation was about Maslow's hierarchy of need. Uh, we learned about fire, uh, the step of Maslow hierarchy of needs. So uh, during presentation, I talk about the types, the step of Maslow hierarchy of needs, which started with physiological, including breathing, food, water, sleep, uh, and next safety. There are security of body or employment of resources of morality or the family or health or property next step was love and belonging including friendship family and sexual intimacy uh, next was esteem which includes self-esteem confidence achievement respect of other and respect by others the last was self-actualization, including morality, creativity, and problem of solving. Uh, it was our first time to do a group project during international tourism and culture, so it was very uh, memorable for me. Next, we, do, we shared about the Japanese tourism during our pandemic. So I present about government revitalization. As other country, Japan is also preparing with Corona starting first week of November, and it will be held at the end of the year, so that the travel to Japan is allowed, but we still need two weeks of self-quarantine for the safety. In Japanese economy, there is a flow of people from urban to rural areas. This make a uh, this make increasing income in rural areas and conduction regional revitalization through such measures as reform to tourism and agricultural industries. And this was our last presentation in international tourism and culture so at this tourism uh, at this presentation i made this ppt for our group meet so in this presentation we have looked for cultural elements in each country tourism industry and among them we will present we present about japan india and the united states uh, we also explain about the definition of culture Culture was is the customs, art, social institution, and achievement of a particular nation, people, or other social social group. So in Japan, we present about hot spring, and in India, we present about the food, famous food culture, which is curry, and in United States, we present about Thanksgiving Day. So for the last presentation in this class was I shared my uh, experience in the Philippines. Uh, we shared about the different kinds of culture. And for me, I lived in Philippines for more than eight years. So uh, I got a chance to introduce Philippine culture to our classmates. The first thing that I shared was about Walang Paso. Uh, which was my favorite culture system in the Philippines because there are a lot of typhoon and when the typhoon come the uh, most of area become flooded so even if we already went to school or in the morning if there is typhoon or if the rain is hard 
we do not go to school when the government announced walang paso. And next, I sh shared about the fast food culture in Korea. When we go to McDonald's, most of people, actually all of people eat hamburger because that's the only food that they sell. But in the Philippines, we can eat uh, chicken with rice or chicken with spaghetti, which was very impressive for me for the first time when I met it because I never imagined that I can eat chicken with rice and I will going to try that in McDonald's. Next, what's this? Uh, in the Philippines, when we go to a small market, we call this Sari Sari store, they always put some drink, soft drink in the plastic bag. Uh, actually, this is very uncomfortable because we should keep holding it. We cannot put it on the floor. But uh, it was this is very memorable culture because I when I was a kid, I always drink a uh, soft drink or milk like this. And next is coming of age culture. Uh, when the girl become 18 or when the boy become 21, uh, they make their birthday party very huge. Uh, before the party, they give us uh, this kind of invitation. And when they were going to announce us what kind of dress code that we should wear. It. So for me, when I go to this debut, the dress code was a pink dress, pink cocktail dress. So all of my friends wear pink dress except the birthday girl. And next is transportation. This is tricycle, which I always ride when I go to school. I actually, I really miss this transportation. I always ask my mom why there is no tricycle in Korea because uh, it is very hot in the Philippines so it is a little bit hard to walk outside for a long time unlike Korea so we can ride this tricycle when we just go around near our village and this transportation is very cheap so I really use this transportation often and next uh, I, intro I introduce about monthly events during uh, between relationship in Korea the couple always celebrate like 100 days 200 days 300 days one year two year like that but in the Philippines we celebrate happy monthly uh, when we become together at December 16 our first monthly will be January 16 and second monthly will be February 16 like that so we can always celebrate with my with our boyfriend or girlfriend every month. Next is mall. Uh, this is shopping mall that I always went while I was in the Philippines. Uh, I really like this culture because in Korea, when we go to mall, it is very small but tall. But in the Philippines, it is very huge, and we can there are also like outside store, inside store. And a lot of activities in the malls and a lot of stores. I really like it because I really enjoy shopping in the mall with my parents. And last, I introduced about karaoke culture. In Korea, if we want to sing, we should go to a karaoke. But in the Philippines, we can easily buy a karaoke machine and put it in the house. In Korea, if we sing loudly, at our house, uh, our neighbor neighbor will call the police or there might be some trouble with our neighbors. But in the Philippines, uh, it is normal that we sing loudly in our house. So, salamat po. This is a Philippine uh, language, which means thank you. So, during this class, I've learned... Uh, a lot of things about tourism and how to behave as a tourist when we visited another places or countries. Uh, it was very meaningful for me to learn about 
HRM courses, which make my dreams come true.